Well, the question was what, what, what causes water and oil carry over and compressed air systems? It's a multitude of things. Um, regarding, re regardless if it's a rotary screw, rotary vane, reciprocating, again, they're all lubricated by oil. And uh, basically, in a, in a rotary screw compressor, for example, um, there's about four or five things that you can first look at that don't really cost you a lot of money. One is, you know, you, somebody could be filling the oil reservoir too high. If there's too much oil in it, they're made to operate at a certain level. And if there's too much oil in it, it has nowhere else to go but to go downstream until it gets back to the normal oil. So that's one of the first things that could be checked. Uh, second thing is, is, is temperatures. You gotta make sure that uh, it's not running too cold. If a, if a rotary screw compressor runs, for example, below 160, all the time they're, they're meant to get above 165 and even go up to 200 210 i mean in stream cases but they like to run about 185 190 degrees um, if it's too cold it also it doesn't allow the system to warm up enough to let the system itself pull the oil out of it uh, the one of the third things is is there's a separator filter on on all of these units again whether it's rotary vane or rotary screw they uh, the, the separator um, basically is set up to where the air comes into it, the air hits the back side of the separator, drops the oil out, and the air keeps going. Well, in the bottom of that separator housing, there's a, a line, we call it a scavenge line, that goes from the bottom of the separator housing back into the air end, and this is all the oil that's pulled out of the air is dropped and then recirculated back through. Sometimes that line will get plugged up, and if that line plugs up, then the oil has no place to, to go but to fill the separator up and then get shoved downstream. Um, degradation of oil if somebody's you know a lot of these compressors are set up to where they're either a 4,000 hour oil service or an 8,000 hour oil service um, if somebody lets it go for three years without servicing the oil that oil can degrade to a point where it also causes carryover it's not it's not lubricating like it's supposed to it doesn't have the viscosity that needs in order to do what it's going to do so just there's certain things that you need to pay attention to um, Use, most of them are very simple to see if that's what the causes are. Uh, you know, you might get a little expense by doing the, the separator change out, but that's things that need to be done on an annual maintenance schedule anyway. So uh, water, back to the water part of it, it's kind of some of the same premise other than we're not using separators. Um, usually that's a drain issue.